everyone. I am here to show you the flip through of this vintage book, Computer Activities for the Year. This particular one is grades four through eight. It is a first edition. I actually ordered the second edition, but they sent me the first. So I don't believe it's in print anymore. Um, so you can find these reasonably cheaply. It's by Teacher Created Resources. Um, I got this because I wanted something hard copy to kind of guide me in how to teach my children computer skills. Um, and I thought this would be good. Some of the stuff may be a little out of date, but I think the basic ideas are going to be very helpful. It goes over spreadsheet skills or processing skills, using the internet, um, going over presentations. graphics right so um, and some of this can be cross-curricular because like this is on poems so that would cover language art um, you're just typing out your own poem If I were in charge of the world. That's a pretty classic uh, writing assignment for elementary school, I would say. It does give some extension ideas. And what you're thankful for are some of the pretty typical stuff. My preference is to have something hard copy to kind of guide me. I don't do good with digital resources. Over letter writing, that's great. I believe here you're using a spreadsheet to make a um, word search. Going over graphs. Obviously, like this activity, I would have to uh, adjust for homeschooling because obviously we live in the same household, so that would not be a very interesting graph. Oh, that one would be fun to do. You could take a poll of everyone in your family and what their favorite food is for Thanksgiving. Now, some of these websites may be defunct. I don't know. I have not taken a chance to look just yet. So, um, but if it is, um, you can always check the archive in the Wayback Time Machine because a lot of those pages are archived, so you could still potentially do that. Um, if not, you can always adjust the activity. Pretty good idea. Start flipping through it this way. Egyptian hieroglyphs. Newspaper stories. That one would be fun. Internet scavenger hunt of the White House. have to change that since apparently Pluto is no longer considered a planet. Okay, I'm going over 
PowerPoint projects. <laughs> That's fun. Making bookmarks, it looks like. an appendix um, about certain softwares. Obviously a lot of that's going to be out of date since this book was from the late 90s. It was like 98, 99. Like I said, this is a first edition. There is a second edition, which is a little different. Um, I also believe that this is available on the archive if you have an account there. It's free. You can check things out for like an hour at a time, so you can uh, flip through it yourself. I think you can even see the second edition, which would be pretty cool. So, hope that was helpful. Have a blessed day.